Vincent's pick tonight is the movie Touch from 1997. The movie stars Bridget Fonda, Christopher Walken, and Skeet Ulrich, and is directed by Paul Schrader. So, Bridget Fonda, I've always found her to be pretty attractive. I mean, I don't know. Uh, she, she's young, thin, you know, she looks pretty good to me, so I don't, I don't know. Um, don't have, you know, any problem with her. Uh, she seems quite pleasant in movies, but lately in the news, there's been this rumor going around that, uh, and some pictures going around that uh, this particular one here is actually her now. And I've just got to clear it up to let you guys know that this is actually her. Um, I saw the interview, and she says that, uh, you know, uh, she's put on some weight, and she says she's happy, and, you know, that she's happy she can go out in public now, and without being, you know, mobbed by people or recognized, so uh, if she's happy, she's happy. So Touch is a uh, movie I discovered by accident one night several years ago watching TV in my bedroom one night, and, I, you know, I was really surprised to see how uh, enjoyable the movie was. I really liked it. It's a very light, airy kind of a story, uh, and what's not to like about it? You got two leads in this movie that are young, good-looking, <laughs> skinny, so um, something for everybody to like. Uh, there's even a, a bit of a love story that kind of sneaks up on you. The story is also fascinating and interesting to me. I'd also want to say something about the musical score in this. Yeah, it really has a very cool vibe to it, and it kind of quietly kind of bounces around in the background, and I think it actually makes the movie. I mean, it's not like a, a powerful musical score like you may have heard in Jaws or something like that, or, you know, Star Wars or something, but it's, it's, it's cool enough that it, it keeps you in the mindset about the story with that said, I believe uh, Dave Grohl and the female singer from the band Veruca Salt, I believe Louise Post, actually team up to create the music for this movie. And they also sing the end title song, which is a pretty cool song. It's not bad. Um, and like I said, it just adds to that vibe for the story. I don't, I don't know what, it, I don't know what it touches on, but it's just perfect for the story, and it makes the movie probably way better than it is. So with that out of the way, uh, the, the main story is Skeet uh, Ulrich, who plays a character named Juvenile, and I really love that name Juvenile, I thought it really suits him, I don't know what it is, but he really looks like that should be his name anyway. But uh, So Juvenile is a person who apparently developed the ability to cure the sick by simply touching them, and he even shows signs of the sort of mysterious uh, stigmata phenomenon where you bleed from the palms of your hands like Jesus or something. So the uh, former evangelist by the name of Bill Hill, <laughs> played by Christopher Walken, um, he persuades his friend, who happens to be kind of like a reporter, uh, Lynn, played by uh, Bridget Fonda, to kind of pretend like she's an alcoholic in therapy just so she could get close to Juvenile, who uh, actually works there. And he knows about the stigmata, and he wants to be sort of like a manager behind the scenes, uh, taking this juvenile kid all the way to the top. And, of course, he's going to make a big pile of money and fame and fortune, so it's a bit sleazy. For whatever reason, Christopher Walken seem, seems perfect for this role. <laughs> so um, he wears it well for some reason. But And just a little thing about the cast. The casting in this is really, really well done. I, I really like everybody in the movie there's nobody i don't like and there's really no scenes in this movie that i you know i can't stand and i can't wait for them to be over it's just a very good movie i just was really happy with it so another character that pops up in here is played by tom arnold his name is uh, august and he's a very fanatical religious kind of nut job who serves to be the sort of random element in the story that kind of throws a, a little bit of a monkey wrench in the whole narrative. So yes, he's an interesting character. And one thing about this movie, it's definitely, a, I would definitely classify it as a black comedy that has a satirical look on the whole agenda in this movie, so. 
So with all that said, uh, one thing that all these characters didn't count on, however, was that Lynn and Juvenile would actually really get to know each other and actually like each other, and there would be a budding romance going on between the two of them eventually. Their romance will prove to be the undoing of all these grandiose plans that all these outside forces have for Juvenile, which is fascinating about this movie. So with that said, um, on, a, on a side note, I kind of think this whole story about him being able to touch somebody and heal them, I kind of think that's really a, a cool power to have. I've always wanted to do that. Um, I've often thought about this movie and being able to touch people I know are sick, and I wish I, wish I could actually do that, so that this whole movie was really interesting on that level. So I don't want to spoil the whole movie or the ending, but um, it's really a cool movie. Um, it's got a young vibe to it. When I look at this couple, they make me want to lose weight. <laughs> so that's all I can say on that. No, I like this. I like it. I like the the uh, chemistry between the two of them. Seems really genuine, and I like where the story eventually headed to. And uh, just another note again that the music that runs through the movie really sets the tone perfectly for the story, and it seems to just mesh really well with the characters. Um, I don't know. I'm, I just really like the movie. I'm considering making it one of my, one of my permanent uh, collections, and uh, I recommend it. I wasn't able to find it on the apps, so it's not available right now. So you could probably get it as a DVD, but you could look around on, on YouTube or whatever. You might be able to find it, but uh, highly recommend it. Thank you.